All right, welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. We've got an empty shop, kind of, except for that thing. Hunter, we're getting a truck. You guys might see we're doing a little addition back here, so if you want to see how that goes, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. Today, we're building a record truck that you guys probably seen in the thumbnail. We've got a uh, Jerodan 25-ton record boom with no body even says on the box and I'll show you that later so this thing is a uh, 25 ton unit like I said it's got dual um, winches on it it's ready to pick up 25 tons sucked in this here comes out extends out a lot of record stuff I don't know it's got an underreach on it but uh, it's got wireless controls very expensive piece of equipment so what are we gonna put it on we're gonna put it on the big old HET over here but uh, while we're going over and picking one out, I'm going to throw a few clips in here of me and Hunter picking this thing up in Tennessee. All right, we're all loaded up. Got our kit box up front there. We're ready to head north. We have like 11 trucks to choose from. We've already been through that truck. You guys probably can't see because of the blinding sun. And I said I picked that up in Tennessee. It literally was in Kentucky, but we were literally like, could have thrown a stone and hit Tennessee. We literally were both. We were that close. We're going to go through these trucks. We got three here that run. You guys know we've been doing a lot of will at start videos. So all those sitting over there is one there and three or four or five more over there. Those are non-runners at the moment, but we do have three here that ran. So, uh, Hunter, you want to start hop up there and check out miles and stuff like that? And we're gonna pick a nice truck out because it's gonna be expensive truck build. Kevin just likes that one for no reason. Look at things like tires. We have new tires for them too, but we want to start out with a good, solid unit. I need to make sure central tire inflation works and all that good stuff. What do you got on that one, Hunter? Uh, 3,000. 3,000 miles, how many hours? 316. This one's had an overhaul in it, no five, so that's gonna be a plus. Let's look at our other ones. Wrong kind of batteries. We'll have to fix that. Duralast. It's over up. They even got the go handle on them, bud. Let's look at this one over here. We got one picked out here. We got two trucks sitting here that uh, have 2005 rebuilt. So Kevin's picked this one out. We're going to make sure everything's working on it. Again, we'll get everything working on these other trucks. We're just looking for uh, something quick and easy to uh, get this record body on right now. 
All right, we think we got a good one found there. We're going to take it for a little drive here and make sure everything's legit on it. Kevin's locking the uh, drive line in now. The winches are all working. Central tire inflation's working. We'll have the boys go through this thing, check all the fluids, change oil and all that stuff. But Locked in. Just trying to shove them straight. We locked the drive line in. We'll put some fuel in her. Those tires are all fighting against themselves. Probably I'll take it for a drive too. Make sure it's all right, huh? Oh, are you the driver? Since you got your learner's permit now. That's all right. All right, we'll get some fuel in her. Safety, please keep all hands and feet inside the ride. What's our dome light on for? You got too many light switches on, bub. Yeah, flux capacitor is. Can't see off in there. What do you need? Pull it in. Oh, you want it in for short people? Uh, I still can't see that, but that's okay. This ain't getting on top of us. Is this you safe, Hunter? Like, you just let me know if I'm hitting anything. Hey, should we call this guy on here? It says please call Doug. Yeah, I think he'll be all right with it. Which way are you going? I don't know, but this guy's going to get scared. He is scared already. Watch. Scared. Oh, that was weak. Charges for gravel. Nah, be all right. I just wanted to see this car. <laughs> oh, the Willie's car? You're getting all dusty right now? Not my Willie's. That's pretty rude, isn't it? Not my Willie's. Not my Willie's. <laughs> I like it. Look at the jet ski for sale. You see that two place trailer? Yeah. I don't see that. Or the windshield's dirty. The temperature coming up on it. I know you can't look at anything but the road. No, not yet. Why are we driving down the middle of the road? It's better this way. It makes you feel like you're in a race car when it starts banging gear. Two stroke power, bud. So, have you guys not seen? There's quite a few videos on these things. We put a flatbed on one.
liking it. You liking it? Yeah. So you just pulled in that bay right there, and we'll start. Uh, this is all going to be backwards. We never work out of the front of the shop, do we? Uh-uh. We can't right now. So. I just pull her in that bay there, Kevin, and we'll start taking the back apart. Basically, we gotta strip everything from here back. We're gonna take that catwalk, fifth wheel off, the ramps off, mud flaps. I'm gonna go check on some steel that I ordered while you guys are on the unbolding party. Come on, Have you told anybody about our tool giveaway? Uh, I don't know what it no, is. I'm just we ain't giving it away. Oh. Anymore. I'm taking it. <laughs> I had a few people asking if they wanted they could give it to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <you> can. <laughs> Anyway, do you guys, right do the right thing. We don't know. We've got a fully loaded toolbox. Uh, we're giving away here in a few months. We uh, basically bought this to uh, test the tools out and stuff. They're all from Harbor Freight. Um, but the link how to win that will be in the description, the description below. You can um, go enter that to win that toolbox. But uh, the boys are going to get after it. We'll be back once we get this stripped. Kevin, you don't look like a fifth wheel. <laughs> You're the third wheel, I think. Hey, Bob, earthquake's going into retirement. Earthquake wouldn't take out a bolt, so we're going to throw the snap-on. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I've, you know we dug this snap-on impact up out of the dirt. That's right, we did. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Hunter says. Oh, really? this thing's is it going to gonna take it loose? It better. You got the right side socket there? Well... See, they use a bunch of paint on there. Well, here's the problem. When you use a loose socket, you lose power. You mean hammer it on there? So yeah, what? you're going to have to. So you're going to have to put the earth point back on it, and it's going to break it loose. Put the earthquake on it first. If they don't budget, then put the snap-on back on it. You can't be having tool tests with faulty socket situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, making excuses for your earthquake here, but. Are you tightening? <laughs> ah, no, Bob. You're loosening. Well, put the snap on on it then. Earthquake sucks. <laughs> Earthquake's been doing okay. Shut your mouth. We need an XLT, not an XT. Oh. Now let's see what happens. She's Go tired. ahead. Hit it one more time. You Go got it in reverse? You got all the ponies turned up. I'll tell you another little secret if Kevin can get that on the. Oh, that, that's this thing. Uh, Is that turned up all the way? Oh, I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> so. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Is she turned up all the way? I think it already was turned up. Go the other way a little bit. See the bolt moving. You can't get an impact on it back here. Mm -mm. You might need a bigger impact. Good thing you had earthquake. Try the other one. Tell Kevin to take his wrench off of it so he can spin it first. That always helps too. Keep going, bud. Hmm. It's just wiggling around in there. It's like they wanted to pick up the whole truck with that bolt or something. Hmm. Well, tool test, we don't know. Alright, so oh, enough of that nonsense. I've uh, got some instructions printed off. We've got to, uh, you guys see that too. We got these uh, tracker things based on a tandem truck. We don't have tandem trucks, but basically we've got to uh, cut that frame rail off at that angle back here. So you guys kind of see that. We got some measurements. The reason is that's going to fit in this pocket back in here. 
And I was told by the guys down there when I was talking to them at Fitzgerald, it's real important to get this pocket uh, real cut real close and everything. It fits way back up in here. Somewhere, yeah, down, down in here. Fits up in there, so there's a lot of weight bearing on that pocket. Um, so basically, I'm going to put this all the way up at the front of the winches, and I'm going to do some, I've done some preliminary measuring already. So, uh, I'm going to have to add a little bit of frame rail to this. So I've got some uh, high tensile steel there that we can cut out and bend and weld to that. We'll probably reinforce it too. And I believe we're going to have to take this cross member out here too um, because of the uh, under reach that's kicking in there. So, What are you guys doing over there? The earthquake sent in too much thunder. We gotta have 24 inches clear for the uh, underreach, which is that big arm that's sitting up there on the back, right there. It actually folds down, and goes under a truck axle, so it's gotta have some room for the cylinder and stuff to cycle back. So I want to get some measurements figured out here. I believe the guys are gonna yank this cross member out. We'll get some extensions made, um, get that all welded, prepped on there, and once we get it fitted, we'll probably put another fish plate or something on the inside of it or another frame rail or something, so strengthen that up. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot of figuring to do. I'm trying to figure out the snap-on. Put it on there. What'd you do to it? Nothing. He spiked it up with some... Oh. It sounds wicked. Uh-oh. Earthquake What'd you do to it? Served. You turned it up more or you just took that other bolt out? Get her. Not that don't sound hey, we got... <laughs> It doesn't sound safe. <laughs> we got some undercarriages to do too. It'll be the ultimate test. That's right. Well, did, so, did snap on stronger than the earthquake then I'm taking it? That's right. Hmm. I think so. I think it was just It better be for as much as it cost. <laughs> I can tell you that. By five earthquakes. <laughs> All right, so I have to add 13 inches back to those frame rails. And the reason I got to do that, we've got this winch sitting up here. So we're going to keep these winches. We've got dual 55,000 pound winches sitting here. So we're going to start that wrecker right at the back of there. That's going to allow us to have all kinds of pulling power and winches. Um, I could possibly shorten this thing up a little bit, but the problem is our tire is going to interfere with our lift too. So we've got to get that frame rail back here. I was trying to explain kind of why I was doing that, but uh, I want to leave this all mounted. This thing is mounted on our super, super good. So we've got some tricks up our sleeves for the controls. We're going to turn those into wireless and stuff. We'll show you that later. But just want to kind of point that out while I was extending the back of the frame rails and not trying to slide stuff forward, but like I said, we got two issues. We got the tires sticking out and uh, our winch situation up there. But I want to be able to keep those big winches for some extreme pulling power. So that boom, when it goes up there, is actually a couple uh, mounts for shackles. So we could put a pulley snatch block or something like up there, route the cable off sideways or whichever way too. So I think it's all going to work out real, real well. So we're try to going to try to keep the uh, hydraulic system uh, from that truck and try to use it for the rear system too. So. Not sure exactly how it's going to work out yet, but we'll figure it out. So, kind of been drawing that frame extension here on the computer. I don't know if you guys can see there, but I uh, kind of got the angle that they call for there at the back. I still got to put my two wings on there. I do have some uh, 3 8 high tensile uh, steel down there that we'll cut those out of. And we'll bend them on our uh, metal brake here in a little bit. All right, we got our part drawn up. We got it sent over to the plasma cutter. I was gonna reach out to you guys. We are gonna probably be selling this plasma table. We're gonna update this thing. It's about 12 years old. Um, got it from a company down in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Unfortunately, they're not in business anymore, but there is a company supporting these things. So anybody's looking for a five by 10 water plasma table, this thing may be available uh, by the time this video comes out. So we've got uh, something going on with a new one, maybe. So. Uh, we're gonna fire this thing off here. I got it all zeroed out and uh, see how it goes here.
I got both those pieces cut out. You can kind of see that back profile of that frame. We're going to bend these two whips over here. I'm going to press break your neck. So yeah, I'm going to include that plasma cutter. It's a 120 amp cutter. Uh, it's single phase. Uh, this table is a 5 by 10. So you can put this as a, a 10 foot long sheet in there right now, but it's only 4 foot wide. But you can put a 5 by 10 sheet in there and still have a couple inches on each end. But uh, um, knock on wood, this thing's been good. Um, it's going to come with a computer program. Basically everything turnkey set up. So drop me an email down below at sales at ccsurplus.com. Um, you can probably buy this table for what that plasma cutter costs new, so I'll make somebody a heck of a deal on it. But uh, hopefully we'll be getting a new machine in here soon. Here's our two frame row pieces. I'm shooting for 14 inches in height. So I made that top flange a little bit wider than the original so we can um, cut them down. But we're sitting right there at 14. That's the main measurement. So we'll carry those over and see what they look like. I know I saw it. Goes just like that right here. You're big and strong. Do you lift, bro? Do you even lift? It goes on the outside? Nope, it's just, just going to extend it. Got to come up a little bit, yeah. I got a little bit wide on my... Need a master welder? Master welder! Is that right. me or Tucker? Or uh, that, may be, that may be me today. It's okay. kind of it's kind of somewhat... You don't trust me on this very important project? Well, you might be able to be a tacker. <laughs> I kind of feel like That's there's... It's kind of like saying no, but real politely. Uh, one day, one day, one day, little grasshopper. We don't want the whole record boom to go on national television here. Huh. Huh. We're gonna, we, we don't have Randy here today. We can't okay. wash nothing. How about a one slash two? One slash two, that'd be Soft half inch. Ridge. Ridge. You do, is that not what's in your hand? One what? slash two. Oh. Ridge? We're gonna okay. need those airlines and all that stuff up here at the record boom. So we're going to put, uh, the record boom has glad hand connections. we got a regular civilian light plug there. All that stuff is actually plumbed on the back of this thing here. I'll show you guys. We're going to tie it all in. So we can tow a truck or whatever. All right, here's our glad hands. There's our plug. We actually got air for uh, airing up stuff too. So we're going to plumb all that stuff in. Of course, we got to put tail lights and all that good stuff in it. So it's coming together. We might get her set on her today. All right, while those guys are working back here, I'm going to do one thing under the body here before we get it set on here. You guys know these Speed trucks wagon. are... Are you in trouble, Kevin? No, <laughs> These trucks are air ride. So, I want to be able to let the air off these um, bags when we're pulling winching. If not, it gets all tippy and squirrely. So, um, we got two leveling valves. we got one on each side here, controlling three bags. And we've got these little dump valves we're going to plumb in there. And then we got a little pilot switch, so we'll just be able to flip this switch right here. And it will simply lower the air out of the bags. We can turn it back on and go from there. Sounds like a meat wagon, bud. Where's it at? Is it going to slow down? Oh, he ain't going fast. You tell him to honk? They're over here looking at our equipment. They ain't paying attention. That's right. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get some fittings and get the plumbing. Reverse, son. 
Reverse. Perfect. Is it snack time again? <laughs> it's so, always snack time. Huh? I'm getting ready to bust a line loose on this side to put these little pilot valves in. Mm. We're gonna turn on our gangster hydraulics real quick, ain't we? That's right, bub. About to have a blowout. You should tell them to uh, hold their ears. Yeah, hold your ears. Waiting. Waiting. Ready? Yep. Oh, I got my good ear covered. Oh, you don't have no earbuds in. Uh-uh. Don't you love old airlines? Here we go. Oh, I didn't know we had one of them kind of rides. You like that? Ah, uh, I was in the middle of snack time, so. Hmm. If you tilt the camera, it's better. Yeah, it fixes it. See, it's all better now. Don't worry about it. All right, we'll be back for more fun. I like watching my boss work. I like watching you work. I think it's better this way, really. Is that what you call laying frames? Uh, well, yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what you got here, bub? Huh? You got some goodies. Yeah, we need to pull them in. Okay. Let's do it. No, oh, boss. Hi, friends. Oh, it's going all right. That's right. Hey, we've not told them why we we're uh, building the record truck. We're going to put it for sale, but there is one main reason. That is true. We've been collecting videos. I'll throw a few clips in here of the reason why we're, <laughs> we're going to build it. Okay. Mason, what are we doing today? going to get a mower. Huh. Where are we going to get this mower, Mason? Out of the pond. <laughs> ah. All the way back at the edge. Yep, there she is. Oh, I see it. Hmm. I made it out of the pond, barely. Oh, Bob. My hundred in advance this time, cause that's two hundo. Is it? Yep. Oh, Bob, this is no way to treat your mower. Okay. <laughs> On this episode of how did we get it stuck? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!
Mason's gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, watch it. It's it's muddy down there, bub. <laughs> hey, bub. Bub, Mason's gonna be mad. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty impressive, Bob. No, Bob, I was going first in the line, and then I hit a rock, and it just went like this, and then beeline it straight to the mud. You mean into the pond? <laughs> <laughs> you better just go real fast and clean all that mud off. Not my gravel. That's right. <laughs> Are you proud of your brother? I don't understand how he got it that so. I don't either. That's pretty good. All right. Well, you know we're going to make like a whole episode of these, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we already got Mason like three times, so he's just part of it now. Oh, he's loud dump trucks. Um, we just got done showing him all the clips of Mason and Hunter getting stuck in the Somebody likes to grab the camera and call them out. Who? You're the camera operator. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're, next time we get stuck, we'll be prepared anyway. Okay. While you guys are watching that, I went ahead and got these uh, relay suspension dump valves all plumbed in. Um, so we've got the lines up to here for right now. My plan is we've got these dual winches up here. I'm going to remote control these two big winches and there's also a high idle switch for the engine and stuff up there we're going to bring all that down there's actually high and low speed too for the winches they're in air switches we're going to bring all that down to here so it all can be run from the ground and those winches will be in remote control but that'll be later on probably in another video this is probably going to be a two or three or four part series so but uh hopefully we gotta stretch this out a trilogy if you guys want to see all this coolness going on I won't leave you out. And I also uh, plumbed in another um, airline. This is going to feed our record bed. I've just got a vice grip on it now. Closing it off. That's going to feed our uh, bags. We do have a couple air switches on that for the uh, winch. Free spool and stuff like that, I believe. Kind of like this one is here. We've got airlines going in here. Just free spools, dude. So same thing at record bed. So I got my air supply for that. Oh, we're just trying to get stuff done under here. Um, well, yeah, about ready to shove some air into it. And I think we're going to take it back and wash this thing off, get this dirt and stuff off here. And then uh, I'm going to weld these back pieces on there. Well, hopefully the suspension works here. We'll see in a second. It's going up. Kevin stuck air in the front of it. Is it going to stop there and go down, though? Yeah. I think she's up. Flip the valve and see what happens. Coming down. I think you did good. Flip that back up, Kevin. We're laying frame, bud. She's going back up. You like that? She slammed. All right. I think when you take it out and fire up Randy's pressure washer, what do you think? He's going to be pretty upset. He is going to be mad. If he watches any of our videos, he'll see it. You think he watches our videos? Sorry, Pepper. He watches our TikToks. Of all people to watch our TikToks, it's Randy. 60 year old man watching our TikTok videos. Anyway, we'll get this dude cleaned up and then we'll start welding that rear on.
Papa Randy, it wasn't me. I didn't do it, Papa. He's right there. That's the guy right there. Yet another opportunity for me to watch my boss work. Hey, you're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Uh, he's probably staying in the deck. Uh, uh, no, sir, Bob. He'll know just the way you handled this hot seat, Bob. We won't wind it up, right? <laughs> That's right. Sweep up all these bolts and tools. I did such a great job washing this. Randy would fire me. I just need this top area clean. Hey, it's good enough for us. How about this lace and frame? Well, we'll leave it up here and grind it first, maybe. Hey, there's a bunch of tools in that pile. All right, been grinding away. Hunter's grinding one more plate over there, getting stuff beat down. And get a nice penetration weld. Oh my gosh, that's loud. It's tight. So you're probably wondering what we're doing over here. So, ah! <laughs> Otter, you're too loud. Take a break. So, <laughs> take five. We've got five inches of frame rail hanging on that thing. This frame rail is only three and a half. So we're going to be coming over here, what, a couple more inches, an inch and a half? Mm -hmm. So they had this big old fitting sticking up above here that's going to interfere with our... Uh, Wrecker, and we don't want to notch that tubing because it's in a major structural point too, isn't it? Yes. So we got some custom fitting adapting going on. He's going to try to get that tightened up. And then I'm going to slide this hose up in here like so. And we'll come around and hook back into that hose. So that's going to stick us right down below that frame rail. So this is, um, if you guys have not been watching my videos, these trucks have rear steering on them right here. So this is actually a steering box. We've got a drive shaft going all the way up front. So this rear axle steer is probably, what, about 25% of the front axle. It don't turn as sharp as the front, but yeah. helps these trucks turn a lot sharper. They're not bad for as long as they are, so. But uh, it's something we got to work around, for sure. What you got going on there? Yeah, I caught a pair of pliers that's never been used. Yeah, but I can see why. can get them in there. <laughs> we'll, we'll get that fitting tightened up and in there. And Hunter, I need your help. I'm Good. coming to help you. All right, we got that in there, just right below the old frame rail. And about an eighth inch or so. Perfect. Got our hose looped around. That should work fine. All right. I know I've said it's about ten times. We're ready to weld some stuff on here, ain't we? Oh, you want me to do it? Get it with the twenty-three thousand penetration station. You like that O twenty-three wire? That's right. We need to get some straight edges clamped on there and clean this oil off my hand. Yeah, don't do that. Alright, so we got her on there. Got some clamps in there, kind of holding it straight. We're nice and flush here, so the hunter's going to tack it. Tack it right there, then we need to bend her out a little bit with the Crescent Wrench 9000. Got your gas on, Freddy? Okay, Bob. Put your pretty good tack right there. Pretty good tack? Pretty good tack, because we're going to put the hooey on it. A little dot. <laughs> Been a minute. You see my shields? Hmm. I went for the safety plan. Hmm. Hmm. I about did what I wanted it to. Hold it. 
fold it. That's what we want. Why don't you fold a little bit more, Kevin, and you can tack the top up here. Go over there, Hunter. You step over there. Yeah, he's gonna pull out over to that matches. Can you get that or not? Yep. Ready? Good tack. Close enough for government work, ain't it? That's right, Bob. What you need down here? So that needs to go out right there. Do we want on it? We're tagging on it. No, we here. gotta take. You're fine. We gotta bring this side out here. Mm. Mm. Are we in trouble? Huh? Where's the other two? Making a mess. They're up here doing things. Make sure we shut this off. Partners in crime are up there. What are you guys? Click and clack. Click and no. clack. Okay, and the and the three stooges are right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got those on there. I ground the top flat. Are you talking? Yeah, I'm talking. Oh. You good. I've not been over there for 30 minutes putting two oh. bolts in. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get that, uh, hopefully get it on here for the end of the day. We're going to set that thing in there. There's a few holes in the record boom. We'll mark those on here. Then I'll look and see where I can add some plates. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna add a fish plate to the inside of this somehow. Strengthen this section up there. And we should be good to go. We're gonna pick this thing up, take it around back and get it rigged up for the crane. Set it on that way. We need them bolts up front. Three quarters. That's a full cool stand. Come on in. Good tilter back. Can I go up. on that one side.
lot of stuff in the way. What? That's an hour. Oh. Can we pick this up and then we'll uh, pull the truck up and get that unbolted? We're gonna have you pull up a little bit here in a second. We gotta go up another three and a half inches to get up in that pocket. Tucker, don't put your feet under it. Just stand back here. Get away from it. You gotta stand here and push on us. You don't ever want to put your feet under it. Straighten your wheels up. There you go. Good. All right, we got that little tire off here. We're gonna try her again here. Quarter or so. We can probably slide that with the forklift. You guys might be noticing this uh, big old crack under here. It's all bowed. So they told me we got to get the back all tight, fastened down, bolted down. And then we're going to put a jack here and crank this down. It's probably going to be in the next video, but the reason they put this in here is to put uh, stress. I guess it's not what you call stress. We call it pressure. Tension. Tension is the word I'm looking for. So you're going to crank it down and put tension on it and put the bolts to it. That keeps the bolts tight and keeps everything nice and strong. So that's the reason they put that bow in there. It kind of seems funny, but the guy told me it's a couple other brands. They build them completely flat and the bolts are real bad about walking loose. So put some tension in the chassis that way. So I think uh, we'll unhook our chains and get it inside and get it all situated, but it's looking good. tension on it. Tucker, you fell in the dirt. I don't like changing the oil. Tucker changed the oil and got most of it on him. Alright, you ready to take her in the shop? Go easy back in the shop. You look pretty cool, ain't it? gets in there we'll drop that air off that I'm worried about that tire hitting that uh, control there's a wrench on the ground there no you're fine get on there
let that air out. Next, next put it back in there. Worry about some clearance here. I think we'll be alright. It's on the bump stops back here, Kevin. I like that. You like that? Perfect. Should be. We got a little clearance. Cool, cool. What do you think? Flopping around like a banana? Was it? Yeah. You want to get that little forklift? We might try to push this up a little bit more. You set the brake, didn't you? Yep. We're locking about a quarter inch of going up. There you go, whoa, that's funny. Come on in, all the way. Go up a little bit. Come on in. All right, go up a little bit. All right, give her the shove forward. Go up, go up, go up a little bit. Need some more traction. There you go, now try it. Pick it up a little bit. Pick it up a little bit. Now try it. You got her now. There you go. Little Taylor did it. Hang on, don't move. Are you up, Kevin? You up? That's good. Go ahead and back up. Let's let go down. All right, so there she be. We're going to uh, wrap this video up. I know it's probably kind of getting long. Um, you guys want to see us get this thing mounted, get that front sprung down like it's supposed to be. Make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that next video that's coming out. So we'll uh, probably have a couple more by the time we get this finished. So we got lots to do. We got to get this thing mounted. Uh, I'm going to weld another plate on there. We're going to do some more gusting to hold that piece back on there good and strong. Um, we got brackets that got going here. We've got hydraulics we got to tie into. I'm not exactly sure how that works. You might notice the guys already pulled the tank out of here. So we've got to run a couple return lines up. But anyway, that's all going to be in the next video. And the boys are servicing it and uh, getting it all ready to go too. So we'll probably put some kind of paint on here. But if you guys like this video, do me a big favor. Give us a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Uh, lets us know we're doing our job. Let's YouTube know we're doing a good job. And uh, yeah, we appreciate everybody watching and stay tuned for the next one.